Hello and welcome to this special supplemental tutorial. Actually this is uh, the supplemental to tutorial 9 and after the fact I kind of decided that people needed this information because this is something that a problem that you might run up against. What I've done here I want you to see is I went ahead and redid my roof and I'm not finished with it but basically you can see I created a lot of vertices all the lines are straight I tried to be as neatly as possible and we can do that because it's a big flat area now uh, I want to draw your attention if you can look here uh, and see we fixed a great deal of the problems that the car had like there was a lot of smudge up here and here we, we fixed a lot of that and uh, we're moving on now and there comes a point to where you have to connect two halves of the car I never ever recommend connecting a separate part to another separate part for example uh, down here I did that big mistake mainly what I had to do was I had to go back and I had to de basically develop the whole front fender again based upon what I'd already done here I just extended this on up and then on up to here now I came up here and I connected this with no problem I was running into a little little bit of a problem right here in some form errors and things but it was no big deal I was able to extrude without any shadowing or any of the crazy stuff that we've seen before now what I want to show you is how to really make this work now up here what I did was I extended this down from here extruded this down and I connected it successfully to this uh, other piece of the roof and this little side panel here now what I'm doing is I'm going I'm finishing the roof by extruding off of this part and I want to show you how I do that now I basically I extruded but as you can see when I extrude off of this it's not connected so what I do is simply go in here and I select these two and I go down here to the mesh mode and I go to vertices merge and I want them to merge to the very last one so merge at last and as you can see it merged it into one part and it's working perfectly there are no problems here and all I have to do is continue this process over to here and I'll have my roof finished so let's go ahead and do that I'll show you the whole sequence here Oops, hitting the caps lock instead okay extrude only edges and I'm going to extrude right off my x-axis okay and now I'm going to move it just a little bit here let's see G Y up oh, it's moving the wrong one let's zoom in hmm okay ah there we go now G Y okay as you can see little bit of space there and so I select this one and this one mesh vertices merge at last move one vertice and there we go I'm gonna do that all the way over until I finish I just wanted to show you this trick because it's pretty crucial when you really get to uh, detailing the car and putting it in its final form also I want to show you something else that I made a boo-boo here okay when I looked at the uh, I've never really seen a Pantera in real life <laughs> sadly I've only seen pictures of them but uh, I was kind of modeling it based upon some of the other cars I modeled and the hoods always one piece well in the Pantera here the hood actually is or actually in the Pantera this is the trunk but you know whatever uh, it's right here it's this middle piece and it I think it folds up 
upward toward the front. And so we've got some seams here right where these little indentations are. What I've got to do is I've got to go back basically and extrude off of this front fender here and recreate the hood. Now that's no that is no big deal. Actually, what I can do well no, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just going to extrude off of the front fender and recreate the hood and get rid of these gaps that aren't there on the real car. That's my mistake. Also another thing, um these mistakes like this are common and uh you just have to fix them and pick up and go on. Every car and airplane that I make, uh, I run into different problems on. You get better as time goes on. But uh, anybody that sits back and tells you or, you know, posts something on your YouTube page or something says, oh man, you know, I, I don't make these mistakes. You suck. You know, they're lying. Because everybody makes mistakes. I've known modelers that are way better than I am. And man, they, they, there's sometimes they're they're knocking their heads against the wall. They don't know what's wrong. Uh, they contact me sometimes and say, hey, do you know what's going on? Have you ever seen this before? I'm, I'm running into a problem. I don't know how to fix it. So don't get down on yourselves. Uh, mistakes are a part of the process. You make fewer and fewer as you go. But sometimes you really get into a car like, like this one here that's got some blueprint problems and things like that that you run into things that you don't really expect. So I hope this has helped you and filled in a few uh, gaps as I'm filling in these gaps right here. Stay tuned for tutorial 10 and I'll see you later. Bye.